the arrival of the first pair of Lockheed Martin F-35A Lightning IIs at Eielson Air Force Base was significant on many levels. This remote installation is located 26 miles southeast of Fairbanks in the interior of Alaska, and about 110 miles south of the Arctic Circle. Eielson was announced in April 2016 as the first operational USAF location outside the contiguous United States F-35A. It followed an exhaustive analysis of the base's facilities, environmental factors, and cost. Preparing the F-35 and Eielson has been far from straightforward. The extreme winter weather conditions are the toughest yet faced by the USAF's latest fighter. With the weather dropping below minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, combined with snow and dark winter days, this is an extremely challenging operating environment. F-35s were first subjected to cold weather trials in the USAF's McKinley Climatic Laboratory located at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida in late 2013. A focus on cold weather testing was also directed at the Royal Norwegian Air Force, with its F-35s expected to regularly operate from snow-covered runways and plummeting winter temperatures. This gave rise to a unique drag chute modification for Norway's F-35s. This is mounted in a removable pot between the aircraft's vertical stabilizers. The USAF's jets bound for Eielson don't feature the same landing stability modification. Following initial trials of the drag chute at Edwards AFB in California, an F-35A with a chute attachment was dispatched to Eielson in late 2017 for runway suitability trials. The second period of extreme cold weather testing was conducted at Eielson in February 2018 as part of the pre-initial operational test and evaluation work. We're here at Eielson to prove the capability of the aircraft to operate under extreme conditions of cold weather, said Robert Beller, the Director of Operational Test and Evaluation at the Office of the Secretary of Defense. The multi-flight evaluation in 2018 ran into problems when pilots received warnings that an important battery was failing in flight. It was discovered that the extreme cold affected the battery when the F-35's nose wheel bay door was open, according to Defense News. This figured a warning to pilots, which meant they had to land as soon as possible, according to standard operating procedures. The problem was solved in the immediate term via work errand, with a full software fix following to correct the issue. In addition to ensuring the aircraft themselves were ready for the harsh northern environment, the base infrastructure at Eielson was also in need of major upgrades in order for it to be able to support the incoming fighters. The arrival of the F-35s required a major expansion in support facilities at the base, as well as housing to accommodate a huge influx of personnel. Significantly, the arriving aircraft are not recapitalizing other departing assets. Moreover, the stealthy F-35s require significant bespoke facilities to meet security and environmental requirements. Bringing the F-35 to Eielson required huge investment and a lot of new construction.